The clock is ticking for many renters worried about evictions after the Supreme Court overturned a CDC-enacted uh, eviction moratorium. And now a new analysis from Goldman Sachs is digging into just how many Americans might be affected by that. And for more on that, I want to bring on Yahoo Finance's Danny Romero, who has the latest. Danny? Zach, well, after the Supreme Court's decision last week, economists say that 750,000 U.S. households could be evicted by the end of this year, unless Congress takes action. And not only that, but analysts at the investment bank found that tenants owe as much as $17 billion to landlords. And that's because the federal rental assistance has been extremely slow, while Congress has authorized $46 billion in rental assistance. Just a fraction has been distributed to state and local governments. In larger states like California and New Jersey, they have their own eviction ban. But the report estimates that roughly 90 percent of the U.S. households will lose access to these emergency protections by the end of September. So the slow distribution to rental aid could jeopardize an additional one to two million households um, once state protections expire. Yeah, it's, it's a closely, uh, you know, we've been watching that one closely. I know you've been following it for us. A lot of questions around that, but the numbers uh, are rather large when you think about the impacts there after that Supreme Court ruling. Uh, Danny Romero, appreciate you bringing us the latest there. Of course, we'll track any updates.